हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्पार्क्स चैनोग्राफर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर यू अ शॉर्ट एंड डिक्टेशन फ्रॉम कैलाश चंद्र मैगजीन ट्वेंटी थर्ड एंड द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर फाइव हंड्रेड फोर सो गाइस इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो देन सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड आल्सो ज्वाइन मी ऑन व्हाट्सएप एंड द लिंक इज इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स and you have any query you can ask me on comment box so guys ready for the dictation 10 second 5 second start mr dipti speaker sir i rise to support the demands for grants relating to the ministry of labor being headed by a dynamic leader and young minister in a vast country like ours we will have a very large population labor force is a very important ingredient for the development of our nation this particular human resource has not been utilized to the extent possible this is indeed regrettable we should look upon population not only as a liability but in the given circumstances our population or the manpower should be utilized to the best possible extent by giving suitable training i think the labor department and the laborers deserve a great deal of respect because whatever we do in this country the whole process of national reconstruction revolves around the work of the laborers in our country unfortunately the labor force is not well organized only a very small percentage of the labor force about 10% is in the organized sector whereas about 90% of the laborers are in the unorganized sector about 27 crore laborers are in the unorganized sector and only 3 crore laborers are in the organized sector for the welfare of a large number of people various laws are being made we have been talking about labor legislation for a long time a lot of legislations have already been made but we have to consider seriously whether all the legislations have helped the labor class i am sorry to say that a lot of these laws are just accumulating dust and they have not been really useful in many circumstances unless the law is practiced in the proper spirit the workers will not be benefited this particular aspect has to be taken into account while making the legislation now there has to be a great deal of political will and enthusiasm to see that the labor laws are really implemented and benefit the people our dynamic and young minister has recently said in the meeting in pune that in this session a new legislation is be going to be presented it may not be completed in this session but certainly it is going to be introduced and it is for the benefit of the organized sector a new comprehensive and integrated legislation is going to be introduced by our government for the sake of guaranteeing minimum wages and for providing pension for people in the unorganized sector the conditions of the laborers is indeed very bad in our country look at any factor you or any of the big public undertakings how much care does the employer take for the benefit of the laborers on those integrity and hard work 
the whole enterprise of that particular industry is flourishing you will find that a very few industrialists really look into the different welfare aspects of the laborers take the example of families and children of the laborers do their employers make proper arrangements of their health care and education leave aside their cultural upliftment or their cultural life such efforts are not made even in the organized sector what happens in the organized sector is anybody's guess the families of the laborers are not looked after properly and a great deal needs to be done and in this regard voluntary organizations can play some role a small amount of 3 lakhs of rupees has been provided for the welfare of children and women in the unorganized sector i would urge upon the honorable minister that the allocation to the voluntary organization for the betterment of women and children in the organized as well as unorganized sector should be increased as regards the lookouts wherever there is a lookout of the industry the laborers have a great deal of suffering they do not know what to do they are just left to their lot but the employer does not suffer as much just look at the employers of different big industries their standard of living does not change after looking the industry but the people in the factories are left on the street i suggest that whenever the question of look out in a particular industries comes out the question should be considered whether the laborers will be able to run a particular industry and a lot of consideration should be given to this particular aspect and if possible that particular industry should be kept alive migration is very important problem of laborers and it has got multi dimensions that is laborers within the country and those who are going outside the country lot of laborers are exported outside the country and they are facing lot of problems because of the agencies i would like to mention there one thing that we have entrusted his work to mine many of the private agencies but there is need to consider whether we can have a manpower corporation and assign this work to be corporation also there are problems of interstate migration of the laborers there is an act but it is causing difficulties to the laborers who migrate to other states